Productions International, running on Toyin Iso Tunsin's channel on YouTube. Sorry for what? My husband is not supporting my ministry. This sentence sounds familiar. Who is the most important person in your life? Hope you are comfortable in the room. I'm sure you have been served with a very good meal tonight. Um, why, why don't you order for pizza? This series will surely bless you. Then the Lord had been speaking to us last night after our prayers. The Lord wanted to hold this summer camp as soon as we come. Angela! Angela, wake up! Wake up! I have a great burden for these teenagers. So is it the first time that it's happened to you? No, uncle. First of all, I'm ambassador of God. Do you believe fornication is a sin? You can rebuke the devil in Jesus. In what name? In Jesus. What am I going to do now? Many of these teenagers were born here in Florida. But here, the word of God is cast. They have happened many times. Catch them young. Yes. And you? What are you driving at? Why all these questions for me? Wrong marriage pattern, Or no marriage pattern at all. It's what is written about us. And who wrote it? Wife and two kids. Yes, wife and two kids. It's married. But it is only married men who are coming to us for my hand in marriage. Haven't you dated a married man before? You see, the word of God is relevant to every life situation. That is food. So how do you expect the food to cook? I have to switch it up because it was cooking slowly. Abby, of what use is it? You see, the fire must keep burning for the food to be done. You can't serve an uncooked food to the guest. It will cause sickness. Mine is taking forever. Minister Mata, everything has a process. Before vision can speak, it needs a process. And that is the process the Lord is taking you to right now. I agree. Because I remember she said that undone food can cause sickness. Mm. That is why you see some unmade men of God are causing havoc all over the world. Anywhere for Jesus. I feel so relieved. I really appreciate you. Thank you for borrowing God, your wife. I bless your name. Thank you for bringing me here. And Lord, I pray that your purpose for bringing me, Lord, you will accomplish it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm praying for you, darling. You must ensure you get his back end mm. on any project, mm. no matter how long it takes. Four days. I've not given up to us. I thank the Father for my wife. The Overcomers Film Productions International is committed to producing evangelical movies for edification, reproof, for admonishing, enlightening, and preparing the saints for the kingdom of God. All our movies are available on Toy and Aso Fatusan's channel on YouTube to watch free of charge. You can support our evangelistic efforts of producing more movies among other activities of our ministries by making a donation on our website www.overcomersdramaeurope.com 
You can also sign up as a partner to support us from time to time. For more information, send us an email, overcomers96 at gmail.com. God bless you as you support. from the International Women Conference. Oh, Dickiness Faith, in fact, she disappointed me. She has totally let me down. Imagine the gifts I've always given her. I buy her gifts, I look after her children. Oh, no, I often pay her tickets as well. I fair tickets at, at times when she wants to travel. And guess what? That woman again. You know the woman all over social media? Ah. Eh? That saying the Lord has called her. She's, she has come to impart lives. Just hold on. Wait. Listen to me. Even at the program today, ah, you need to see the way women are jumping when she mounted the podium. Oh, that's it. Speak it, Mama. And I'm wondering, hello, what is she preaching? She is not even eloquent in English. You know me now. Ah, I spoken English is not it's not something to write home about. But then they were, they were screaming and shouting. Some jumped out from their, chair, their chairs. And I'm like, seriously? Oh, no. If you go on social media now, you will see some of those things I'm talking about. Just go on Facebook. Is it Instagram? Oh, no, no. I've had it up to my neck. All the gifts I've been giving to Dickiness Dick Faith. I don't know what she's been using them for. She's been eating from me. And she doesn't want to promote me. She's at this program. She said that program. In fact, I saw the other pastor's wife went to went to this lady and said to her that they're having a program in two weeks' time. And I'm within now saying, is she going to invite her again? Oh, I'm tired. What has she given them? 
What has she just all over, all over the place? Eh? But me, I give them more gifts. I, I give them money. I buy material things for them. Oh no. <sighs> You're not seeing what I want to hear. You're not seeing what I really want to hear. <sighs> Honestly, I can't wait for this program to be over. I just can't wait. I don't want to see her face. I don't want to hear her name. Oh no. I can't wait for the program to be over. I hope I don't have sleepless nights today. Okay, it's alright. performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Hallelujah! Has God given you a word? Hold on to the word. Bible says Abraham staggered not at the promises of God. He was fully persuaded. Hallelujah! It's going to happen. It's going to come to pass. Even though it tarries, wait for it. I say wait for it. For it shall surely come to pass. Can I get an amen? No, 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 no. I can't take it anymore. I can't, I can't take it anymore. Ah, I get angry when I see that lady. Ah, uh -uh. it's enough. Enough is enough. I'm coming home this evening. This night I'll be home. Ah, uh ah. -uh. That woman again. She has ministered three times. Three times for this same program. Ah, the goodness she Dikina's fate. What's my offense? What have I done? What have I done wrong? Not even one. Not even one prayer point have I made at this program. What's about collection of offering? So I'm just like a nobody. I'm coming on. I've had it up to my neck. I can't take it anymore. No, 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 no. I'm coming on there. Be expecting me. Touched by your ministration. Oh, give God In fact, all the I praise. pray for more grace upon your life, more Amen. anointing upon your life. Amen. That was powerful. To more grace, glory. Amen. Amen. I'm sure by now she must be taking pictures. People will now be flocking around about her. You know? Wanting to exchange contacts with her. Please, yeah. I want to ask for a favor. Oh, tell me. I don't know if it's possible for me to have your number. Oh, why not? Okay, ma'am. Please. Please, please, I really yeah. appreciate that. 0034 351 799 799. I'm sure by now <laughs> she must be taking pictures of. Ah, mommy, you are beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Beautiful. Thank you. Do I need to smile more? Smile more, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> smile more. You're the looking wonderful, ma'am. By the end of today, our picture will be on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, thanking God for today, 
We thank God for the three days women's conference that was held in Madrid. There was manifestation of the power of God. Souls were saved. The move of God was all over the place. As if she is the only one. Hmm. Evangelists love it. You are fake. People may not see anything wrong in you. They may celebrate you for all I care. But now listen. As for me, I must do something. I am determined. Back to you shortly. I understand that you uh, got my information from our website. I also visited your website. Uh, I would like to uh, discuss with my husband for confirmation and I will get back to you shortly. Thank you. All right, God bless you. Bye. Yes, sir. Oh. How was your day? We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It was a wonderful day. How was yours? Oh, awesome. Sweet. What are you doing? I'm trying to to write a song, put a music to to a song. And how is it coming up? Oh, good. Praise God. Okay, good. Um, the quarterly uh, conference. Minister's conference that we normally have is, is coming is around the corner. Have you contacted everyone apart from the emails that we sent to them? Yes. Oh, except um except oh Pastor Kate. Ah, uh, I think I need to give her a call. Okay. Hmm. Um sweetheart, with regards to the Invitation you got from Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Lord is giving us the go ahead. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Great to Spain. So you can plan towards it, but you must be ready to 
declare only what the Lord tells you to say. Because the Lord has made it very clear that he has a message for you to deliver over there. Okay. So you need to be attentive to the voice of the Lord uh, that he may declare, deliver the message mm -hmm. as he desires when you get over there. Okay, sir. Uh, By God's grace, whatever he asks me to do, I will do. I'm his handmaiden. But I'm excited. <laughs> Thank well, you. We'll continue to pray for additional insights okay. and we'll call you support the program with prayer. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Okay, God bless you. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Okay, Pastor Kate. How are you, Pastor Grace? God bless you in Jesus' name. How is family and the Church of God? Uh, the church is marching forward. The gates of hell shall not prevail like themselves. Amen. Amen. Yes, I'm calling to remind you of uh, our quarterly interdenominational um, minister's fellowship this Saturday. Hope to see you in Barry. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember. Is this Saturday, right? I'm preparing to come. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Certainly, by God's grace, I'll be there. My love to the family. God bless you. See you on Saturday. Bye. Bye. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we will just uh, go ahead and start. Uh, others who are on their way will join us. And more importantly, the host of heaven will meet with us. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord for another opportunity to come together for the quarterly ministers conference. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we should just start. Others will join us, as the case may be. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you. We lift your name on I accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, as we go into your word, go with us. Amen. Speak unto us. Amen. Teach us. Amen. Reveal your word unto Amen. us. Let your name be glorified. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm going to be sharing with us from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, from verse 11 to verse 15. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, Everyone's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try everyone's work of what sort it is. If, every, if everyone's work abide which he had built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If anyone's work shall be burnt, he shall suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Praise the Lord. Uh, this afternoon I'm going to be sharing with us on top what I call how do you build? Mm -hmm. How do you build? And the Bible makes us to understand how we should build as leaders in the house of God. And when I say leaders in the house of God, I mean pastors, evangelists, teachers, apostles, ushers, choristers, Sunday school teachers. We are all laborers in God's vineyard. In fact, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9 says, For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. So every one of us are a composite part of God's own building. Each one of us has a ministry as given by the Lord. Our performance in the assigned ministries will be tested. Every ministry has a location, a targeted audience, and a message given through that individual that has been i mean for that has been given the assignment and this is why it is dangerous to either compare ministries or work according to instruction given to another ministry or to another man of god in establishing yours the grand design for every minister and by implication every ministry is in the hand of the holy spirit and he assigns us based on availability and diligence in stewardship. 
in, in the Bible passage that we read, the Bible talks about every man's work uh, being tested by fire. And it says, what we build upon the foundation, beginning with gold and silver, precious stones, ending with hay and stubble, the test of fire will determine if everyone's work will stand or be destroyed. I pray that our own work will meet that test in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for such a time as this. We thank you for a time where you have challenged us on how we need to build. Even according to your Pastor Grace, I want to invite you to our annual women conference. Oh, yeah, even though my was small, but I want you to come and be a blessing. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh. The dates? It's the 6th and 7th of November. Hmm. Six and seven. Ah, I won't be available for those dates. Are you traveling? Yes. Okay. I have this um three days um uh international women conference in Spain. Yes. Oh, I thank God for you, Pastor Grace. Mm -hmm. I pray the Lord will use you mightily. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. You know, Pastor Grace, I have a confession to make. Mm. Yes. yes, you know, Pastor Grace, there was a time I, I used to think that God is partial, mm. you know, that is giving some people more opportunity, you know, like you, you mm. very particularly, and I, I said, you know, you see that God loves some people more than some people, mm. you know, you get invitations locally here, you get invitations internationally, and I just see myself comparing myself to you really yes wow yes but then the lord made me to understand certain things that i didn't that i didn't know you know especially when your husband pastor david was ministering oh, to them and God. he talked about um, laboring in god's day amen. Amen. that amen. really amen. strike out amen amen amen, amen. praise god amen. and he amen. said something that really touched me that we are laboring in amen. god's day mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know that's really really touched amen. me amen amen I, amen, amen. And, um, it's beginning to I'm beginning to understand that we have different ministries mm -hmm. and different capacity. Mm -hmm. You know, which is why the Bible says in Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse twelve, mm -hmm. that we should not compare ourselves, that those that compare themselves are not mm -hmm. wise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. really, really touched me. Mm -hmm. So I've decided to write in my corner Amen. and label wisely. Amen. Amen. You know, thank God for your life, Pastor Kate. It's very, very important. And I thank God that the Holy Spirit cautioned you. Yeah. You see, uh, for the ministry of the Holy Spirit to give you a caution at this time, it's very important because there are some uh, uh, some unguarded thoughts mm. in the heart of people mm. that can break lots of relationships. Right. If not because God, uh, the Holy Spirit ministered to you, mm -hmm. I'm sure you will not be talking to me. Exactly. As a result of that, you know, uh, as in... Uh, I think First Corinthians chapter four verse two, that um, uh, 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 one thing is needful in stewardship, which is faithfulness. Mm. Either it is local mm -hmm. or international, mm -hmm. or we are ministering to ten, mm -hmm. or you are ministering to twenty, or you are ministering to hundred. Mm -hmm. We must just be faithful. Yes. God will help you. Amen. The Lord will help you. God bless you, my God bless you. My God bless you. I, I, you. I pray you have a very safe trip. Amen. And the Lord will use you mightily to bless the women. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. I look forward Amen. to seeing you back. Hallelujah. God bless Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your prayers. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pastor Grace, I have mm. to run. Mm. Taking the bus to Ottawa. Mm. Yes. That's true. That was six hours. You know what? I'll drop it. Oh, thank you. That's so thoughtful of you. God so bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Now, don't worry. When I come back, I'll quit. Okay. okay. No problem. God bless you, ma. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. Much, my it was a wonderful conference. You're welcome. Ma.
Lord, I give you praise for the finished work on the cross. That I'm able to come before your throne like this and say, Abba, Father, thank you, Lord, for my sister, Pastor Grace, that you're using to minister to souls around the world. Thank you for your strength upon her life and every minister that is out there. Those of us working here locally and those internationally, Lord, continue to strengthen your church. I decree that the church of Jesus Christ will march forward and the gates of hell shall never prevail against us. Thank you, Master. Give you all the glory. Give you all the honor. Indeed, you are, you are reliable, you are so dependable. Sweet Holy Spirit, our helper, continue to help us. Good day, madam. Yeah. Did you see the flyer I sent to you? Yes, I saw it. I want you to do something like that, exactly. Let it be readable. Let it be attractive to the eyes. Let it be pleasing to anyone that sees it. You can trust me on that, madam. I want to do an international women conference. Now is the time. It has to start now. Ah, no, 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 I mustn't linger anymore. Okay. Please prepare the flyer as soon as possible. No problem about that. Your bill is 70 euros. Let it be more better than the last one, than that one I gave to you. Let it be attractive, yes. Ah, and do it quickly as soon as possible. It will be ready in 24 hours. Thank you. Bye. Ah, does she think she's the only one? Hmm. Ah, I'm moving to the top now. Ah, who does she think she is? I will do a conference that is better, greater than that of that so-called evangelist. Love it. Yes. <laughs> I'm coming. I have just arrived. They will hear of me. Hmm. They will know I'm in town. They will know I have arrived. <laughs> Women conference. Here I come.
Father, in the name of Jesus, mm. I cover your daughter with the blood of Jesus. Let the blood avail for her. Mm. As she departs for Spain, you will go with her. Mm. Father, you will prosper her with mm. Lord, the word that you speak is the word that she will speak. Amen. Your declaration from the throne of grace is that which you comfort from her. Amen. The message you have through her, even as you have spoken, Lord, she will receive clearly and deliver clearly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your name will be her life. Amen. You will grant her journey mercies. Amen. You will go with her. Amen. You will bring her back safely. Amen. Your name and your name alone, Father, shall be glorified. Amen. We will rejoice even at the end of this journey. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. Those she's going to meet over there coming into your hands, yes, Father, direct every activity. Amen. Take all the glory. Yes, Let all the blessings be the portion of your children. Amen. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. With this warm reception and uh, warm hospitality, God bless you. Amen. And also, we thank God for the success of the program. We thank God. In fact, we return all the glory back to the Most High God, Amen. Pastor Grace. In fact, testimonies have started coming in. God, praise God. Amen. Amen. Mm. Um, Pastor Christiana, yeah. there is something I would really like to discuss with you. Um, I have prayed about it and I've asked the Lord to uh, help me and he, he really gave me the go ahead to discuss it with you and um, okay. And uh, before I take my flight back to Toronto and uh, you know it's about a revelation I had yes, uh, last night and um, it's about you me um, in that revelation I saw that you were working on a big farm, a very big farmland, and you were really laboring. And you were working very hard. You were sweating, trying to cultivate the ground and the plants. I mean, with all your strength, but you were not really happy. And, um, and um, all of a sudden, the taskmaster appeared. But he refused to pay you. For all your effort, you started crying. You started crying. Well, he said he didn't employ you in that field. Hmm. Pastor Chris, actually, I had a dream similar to this just a few days before the conference. Hmm. So, I was watching 
So I moved closer to the taskmaster because I could see your bruised hands and your dirty clothes. So I moved closer and I asked him, what is really going on? And he made a statement. He said, you are walking on the wrong field. You have left your portion unattended to. Pastor Christiana, hmm. Hmm. why are you walking on the rock field? The Lord our Master said he has not employed you on that field. My sister, it is a wasted labor. Envy is a terrible spirit from the pit of hell. It is a feeling of discontented or longing arose from someone, from someone else's achievements, possessions, or qualities. Hmm. Envy is not of God. It makes you lose focus on what God has done for you. And instead, you focus negatively on others, people's achievements. Trying to outshine them or put them down. Hmm. The woman of God that you are envying, she is in the right place, laboring right. And that is why God is promoting her. That is why God is lifting her up. <laughs> By the way, have you asked the Lord where he wants you to be? So that you too can labor right and so that he too can promote you. Don't envy a glory that you don't know the story. As God's laborers, it is not just enough to work in God's kingdom. But it is more important to work in the right place because... There is no reward out of envy. Pastor Christiana, this conference was a success, but he said he did not send you. It is a wasted labor. Have mercy on me, Lord. <laughs> Please forgive me. Rain your mercy on me, O oh God. Deliver me from the spirit of envy and competition. I didn't start this way. Give me grace to identify my field. To write portion, your right portion for me. So that I may know where you have called me into, oh God. Oh, this is the same prayer my husband has been praying for years. Lord have mercy. Oh God, open my inner eyes. Let me understand, oh God, my portion in the name of Jesus. Believe the Lord sends you here for me, ma. To lead me in the right way. Please pray with me. <laughs> Please pray for me. Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for such a time as this. Thank you for your daughter. Lord, we thank you. We exhort your name even for your daughter, Pastor mm. Christiana. Oh God, for everything that you have done in our life, Father, be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. King of glory, we come before you, the throne of mercy, asking for forgiveness of sin. At this time, we repent of every envy, of every jealousy, mm. of every uh, comparison 
to, 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 to other father lord we ask lord that you have mercy upon your daughter in the mighty name of jesus mm. we, that as she comes before you to ask what you want her to do father please help her to do the right thing in jesus name mm. father we thank you, thank you because lord. we know you will do it mm. so that at the end she will have a reward mm. may i know Yeah. Sure.